Okay, Beano Black here, folks. Quick video. Now, first off, I'm going to show you Alan, okay, from that private telescope that we gave. And basically, these are photos from earlier this year that were the idea that the private telescope, and as you see, I'm having a nice Microsoft field. But that, this is the one that most of all will get it to, and then other ones here that I'm going to flop through real fast, okay? This guy on the private telescope, he went ahead and did different filters so that the idea that, let me open this up and come up and we get a little phone call which we ain't expecting no damn phone call here there's a lot of people that don't want this stuff exposed so here is Alan in on private telescope and then we're going to show you and then basically this is the one that's going to that I was trying to show a long time ago and as you see the nodes okay this is private telescope and this follows Alan in okay so the idea that you're going to see some pictures down, and, there, and this just keeps going, and you can stop and freeze frame these. So I'm going to just go through this archive of me taking these. And then he went to all kinds of different pixels, infrared, okay? And that's that node coming out of, uh, yeah, keep calling. What's going to happen in 2012 and 2013, 14, 15, and 16, folks? Because this is going to take a while. Now, one thing I want you to do is realize and take a look, and these are archive pictures of Alanin from the telescope, okay? I want you to keep in mind that the idea, see that? The tail action and so forth and so on, and that, the V there. Now, we're going to show you V and, and, and some stuff going on, and remember the sizes of objects and so forth and so on. Okay, now I'm going to try to, I got to I got to recue this to get to the modern pictures in the video down south, Antarctica. This is all Antarctica action. Okay, Beano Black here again, folks. Now, uh, I've got to make sure I got this queued up. Hang on. Real quick, we're going to go back through these photos. i got to make this video real fast. Just you're going to be able to freeze all these shots. And what you have to realize is we're going to get back here and we're going to be at the British station, which really blows it off the wall. That The idea that just I'm going to keep going through these because you can go back to these photos. Now, yes, these are basically holograms that the object that gets in front of what we really do believe is Rigel Cantaris B. Kent with the E. Rigel Cantaris B, because you get these anomalies that we know that we get in the Soho shots that may, that show that the idea that there's more than one object there by the sun a long time ago. And we know about supergiants. And look at my supergiants. Panties off the supergiants, one and two. And I'm just giving you this data real fast. I'm going to let this upload. Because basically there's all kinds of BS going on with overlord oversee messing around but when i'm on the internet and i'm trying to i had trouble getting the screencaster to load i had trouble uh getting high cp usage and like i say i can run worldwide telescope and a ton of windows and earthquake at the same time now that was a shot there of the ship back in Ju july now we everybody's been seeing this stuff for over a year there you go uh there is the object, and this is fresh from down at the British one, okay? And the idea, they'll give you this direction and so forth and so on. Remember, you're at the South Pole, so the idea that when the sun comes up in the shadow and so forth and so on. So the idea that when this comes up, and the idea, look at these shapes, because the sun, this basically, Rigel Cantera B is going to come up over here. And also remember that there's an arc over here on that. Now, that's hard rock, not, uh, not uh, snow cap that's going to melt. Okay, there is the uh, triangulation, the V. Check the V out, okay, and check all this stuff out, okay. So we do have Alan and still appearing down there, or a sister or brother that's one of these floppers, okay. So the idea over time, as you can see, there has been stuff hit Earth before we know of the Gulf of Mexico and so forth and so on, other places in the world. So when in or what is going to hit? Because that V doesn't go away, and it's not a dirty camera, folks. And there's probably way more, we, as we notice and see, that there's way more floppers than one out there, okay? This is the station down there, and they have directions and so forth and so on. I'm going to upload this real fast, and you can stop and look at these photos. And remember the Alanins that I showed you from the telescope. A lot of stuff sure matches up, doesn't it, folks? Number one, these big nodes there and there. And you can flop back and look at what I was showing you on the picture slides of earlier. And I'm getting sick and tired of having to mess with Kerasoft and the crap going on on the internet on the line. So the idea that you get stuck looking at these photos and you can stop and freeze and go through these. This is uh, Australian Antarctic Division, the Casey Station. The other one is the British. 
So you get a little bit of a movie here of what's going on with it coming back through and so forth. And there were some sage thoughts in my emblem off of my older uh, Facebook. And basically, Ralph Black's still up there on Facebook. So this is fresh stuff. Have fun with it. Blow them up. See how it holograms when it hits through there with the, with the light hitting. We get lots of different uh, features. Through the ages, ancient times, people have come up with symbols that they see that, that pops out of this stuff. And then here's some more stills to make you show that basically that's where I got it. And I'll put the disclaimer up. And you guys can have fun with these shots. And take a look down there and watch cams. I got to go. And remember, this is makes you more emphasize and realize, okay? Be no blackout, folks. And the idea, take a look at all this stuff. Because when this stuff flops, it gives all kinds of crazy images. Okay? And that's basically someone playing around with this shot here. Okay? They did a double image. Okay? So you got to watch people on the internet giving you double images. That's a real shot. Okay? And then people screw around and play around and try to put 30 open. See? Elenin has a tail. Okay? And Elenin's hella big. Okay? And it's getting close down there in the South Pole. And it was close by on the 16th. Now, it should be moving away. Everything should be all hunky-dory, folks. I'm not trying to scare anybody. But we have had some stuff that we really should have been looking at a lot closer. It would have been amazing. Imagine the TV uh, ratings you could have got by putting this stuff on live on TV. So that tetrahydrin, that triangulation there, and the other stuff over here, like I was showing you at the other stations, it's all down there. You just keep looking at these webcam shots, and you're going to get some amazing shots. I got to go. Be no blackout. So being a blackout, folks, I'm going to upload this and have fun with it, okay, because it's all there, folks. This stuff is real. People giving me this crap. Oh, it's an electronic anomaly in a goddamn camera. They're full of horse hockey, okay? This stuff is there. What you really need to do is blow that there. It looks like a six or something up. Check that out. Six or an eight. So... Like I say, as far as I'm concerned, big old eight ball invented years and years ago in the pool game and so forth and so on. I'm telling you what. And you can see through Mother Nature and Times, there has been stuff hit down there at Antarctica. So, and I believe I can get you the shot real fast of it coming up. And now this is the one. This is the one that's going to blow your doors off. Check that out. You're going to tell me that that ain't going get, to get close and hit the earth someday? Because that is that and there's another arch over here okay so and if you watch the uh, plow there's like way more than one object and it sure looks like there's possibly three because you get one two and three who knows there's a lot of objects in it and the idea that you need to pay attention by looking at that uh, at that tetrahydrin and all this other stuff that's up there with it all this stuff up here. It's going to keep on getting closer over time. Other objects too. Check out Ellen and it was close on the, on the 18th. Uh, the 16th. The 16th. Be no blackout, folks.